Shalom Chavarim, I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Uh, Turkish warplanes have struck Afrin, the uh, Kurdish enclave inside of Syria there. The, the Syrian government, which had vowed to protect uh, the Kurds against any type of air assault by the Turkish military, has not uh, weighed good on their promises. Uh, as we can see here in the background, the city is already under heavy bombardment early this morning uh, at the break of day. And very sad indeed because Afrin was one of the few cities inside of Syria that had escaped the entire civil war process to start with. Uh, but now Turkish forces have launched a major campaign using eight warplanes there in the province and attacking uh, this Kurdish group that is uh, held up there. And of course the Turkish military calling them a terrorist organization. Now I'm really troubled by the whole event to start with because the U.S. Uh, President Donald Trump has said that he had vowed to create this huge military army, uh, a security force of 30,000 strong over there on the eastern side of the Euphrates River. Uh, if we look here at Syrian map here, all along this area here, he had vowed to build this huge coalition there with the Kurds. And now that they're being hammered there in Afrin, President Trump, nothing being said about it, nothing being done about it. Uh, so I guess it's only if they cross this side here. Now, <clears throat> next broadcast you'll be watching, we're going to be talking about what the U.S. is already doing, though, getting ready for that possibility, uh, which will bring that up in another broadcast. But the next big place, though, according to sources that I have there, uh, is Mumbai. Mumbai, according to uh, one of my friends there, uh, Lorenzo, the investigative Turkish journalist, says that this is the next big target. Afrin to the uh, west of this position is what is being under attack as of right now. And that's in this little province in the northern part here. Uh, Russia doing nothing about it either, and that's another uh, concern. Other than the President Putin has said to Turkey they're very concerned about the escalation of violence in the region. Bashar al-Assad, I can understand more why he doesn't get involved if he strikes at Turkey. If he takes down Turkish military planes, he is hitting a NATO uh, ally. And in that case there, NATO partners could and probably would come to his aid. They're looking for a cause to take down Bashar al-Assad to begin with, and that would be all it would take. And with Russia also being an ally with a NATO partner, that would make it very difficult for Russia to protect Syria against the Turkish military. So it's a very tough situation going on there. And we've talked to also some, some of our friends, uh, 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 I won't say exactly who, but some of our friends there uh, from Russia, they could give us a little bit better idea of Russia's stance on this. And uh, they have said that, that you know, that, that they do not, are, are not aware of what promises have been made between uh, Putin and Ankara, but it's normally as a, as an as need basis on what's happening. Uh, so, Again, the Kurds, as usual, always thrown under the bus. Even Israel, who has uh, spoke highly of the Kurds, just as America and Russia have, but yet no one ever comes to their <clears throat> to their aid. Uh, they're a great ground force there, but they have no nation of their own, no air force of their own, and really no way to defend themselves against such attacks as this here. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Coming up again, yet another broadcast about what the U.S. is preparing. Shalom.